In order to create the best and most authentic sounding tape plugin, we first had to find the best tape machines. So I called up Jay Baumgartner and he told me about his 2 inch 16 track Studer 827. And I knew that that machine was widely known as one of the best tracking machines of all time. And then I also wanted to have a mix down deck. So Howie Weinberg, who has a mastering studio here at Slate headquarters, told me he had the absolute best half inch two track. And it was a Studer A80RC, which is the broadcast version of the Studer A80. And I printed a few mixes to that machine and instantly knew that this was the most amazing sounding half inch machine I'd ever heard. When we created the virtual console collection, it was the first time that I could mix inside the box and really enjoy what I was hearing and feel that there was no sacrifice. But once we added the virtual tape machine, it just took it to a whole new level. I really cannot imagine mixing without these tools. I mean, you know, printing a mix to the virtual half inch alone just makes the music come out of the speakers in a way that I've never heard before in the digital domain. Tracking drums to the virtual two inch just makes them, you know, smack and punch. It just like I remembered when I recorded my original drum sample collection. We take modeling very seriously. It's a no frills approach. It's a no compromise approach. And either we recreate the exact sound of what these tape machines are doing, or we don't release the plugin. You know, I mean, these are famous tape machines that thousands of major pro engineers have heard. And I'm not going to insult them by trying to add extra stuff just to, you know, appease people who have never heard machines before. We want to recreate the sound of these machines, what they do, because what they do is is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. So that's that's my mindset on recreating the analog sound. It's either 100 percent or zero percent. For the last couple of weeks, I've been using the uh, virtual tape plug-in on all my mixes, and uh, they totally nailed it. Um, it's really authentic tape sounding. It sounds great on bass, it sounds great on guitars, drums, vocals, everything. The bottom line is this, okay? I, I have one of the best sounding tape machines on the planet. It's an old Studer A80RC. It's vintage in the 1980s, and it, it, it's, it's one of the best sounding tape machines ever made. So the Slate Digital people came to me and said, how do I get a digital plug-in that sounds like your tape machine? I said, you're crazy. Okay, but anyway, he played me the stuff this morning, and you know what? I'm crazy for not believing him. The thing sounds amazing. Huge, big, warm sound. Big width, big wall of sound on a digital file. I'm in. Plugins that claim to model analog gear, people always say, oh, well, it, 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 it's good, but it doesn't really replicate the real thing. Now with the Slate plugins, we don't stop, we don't release the plugins till in blind listening tests, people can't tell the digital from the analog pieces. And that's what we've done here with the VTM. And uh, I think the results on my mixes are unbelievable and I think you will agree with your own music.